today uh, we will discuss a little more about simple interest and compound interest. At present, simple interest. What exactly is simple interest? Simple interest is an interest paid only on the principal amount. Interest calculated only on principal amount P. So this is what the actual definition of it. This is very very important and simple interest is static in nature. Static in nature. Static in the sense simple interest never changes if we calculate for one year that can be duplicated to the second year, that can be replicated to the third year, that can be repeated to the fourth year. So, calculate for one year, use it for n number of years. This is what exactly the simple interest. Simple interest is the interest calculated uh, only on calculated only on the principal amount. So, if I want to calculate the simple interest, we can follow a formula as you can see the same in books. Simple interest equals to P T R by hundred. But do remember T and R. T means time period. And R means rate of interest. Time period as well as rate of interest both has to be in equal units. In equal units. Okay, so by that simple interest can be calculated. The formula is very simple PTR by 100. Okay, this is what a formula. If we don't want a formula, we can even depend on the concept of the simple interest. What exactly a concept of simple interest? Concept of simple interest is very simple. I will just split the formula so that you can understand the concept of simple interest. P times T R by 100. T R by 100 can be written as T R percent of P. So it's purely, the simple interest is purely depending on the time period as well as rate of interest. So if you know the time period as well as rate of interest, it is very easy for you to calculate the simple interest rather than the implementing the formula. Okay, let's take one example. Okay. Suppose the principal amount is 10,000 rupees, rate of interest is 10% per annum, time period is 3 years. For this what we will do, we will do, how can we calculate simple interest? Simple interest equals to PTR by 100, P means here it is 10,000, so I will use 10,000 into time period is in years and rate of interest is percent per annum. So both are in annum. So I can use the same. 3 into 10 divided by 100. So the two zeros here and two zeros here get cancelled. 3 double zero and another zero. So 3000 will be the simple interest. Getting my point? So this is by using a formula. As we already know that the concept is even more simple. Please understand and analyze the things. The principal amount is 10,000 and the rate of interest is 10% and time period is 3 years. That means you need to calculate 10% value for the first year. What is the 10% value in 10,000? That is very more simple. Just remove the last zero. This 10,000 remove last zero that will become 10% of it. In 10,000 the 10% 10 value is as you know that it's 1000 only. 
for the first year it's thousand for the second year it's thousand and third year it's thousand then how times how many times of first year as we need to calculate for three years three times the thousand is three thousand this is a logical answer no need to implement the PTR by hundred okay so by this you should able to understand no need a formula but we require the concept behind the formula okay right we will take another example assume that assume that the principal amount is 70000 rupees and the rate of interest is 5% per annum then the time period is 3 years then find the total amount to calculate total amount you need to know what exactly an amount amount and the total yes the amount equals to the principal amount plus simple interest so a equals to p plus simple interest welcome back simple interest we just discussed about the simple interest simple interest is the interest only calculated on principal amount okay and that too the simple interest is basically depends on the time period as well as rate of interest okay now we will solve few problems okay uh, what is the simple interest on 25,000 at 20% 20 per annum for a period of three years first please understand what exactly we need to find if it is principal principal amount and if it is simple interest we should calculate simple interest if it is amount you should calculate the total amount and here we require to calculate the simple interest and this is the principal amount and this is the rate of interest and this is the time period as we know that and we are not following the formula based on just the concept of it we will calculate 20 percent for the first year so by this i can understand 20 percent for the first year 20% for the second year, 20% for the third year. 3 times 20 is 60. Yes or no? Yes. 60%. 60% value we need to calculate on principal amount. On principal amount. So 60% value calculating in a principal amount is very simple. If you are able to calculate it directly, you can calculate. Or else you can split in 50% and 10% value. It is very easy for you to calculate. 50% is even more easy. The reason is just a half of it. What is half of 25,000? It's 12,500. Yes or no? Yes, 12,500. And what is 10% value? Just remove zero, you will get 10% value. You already know that. In percentages, 25,000, it's 2500. So by this, 50% value is 12,500 and 10% value is 2500. Simple interest is just 15,000 rupees. So by this we can calculate very simple. Okay. And let's go for the other question. What sum of money here the sum refers to? Please understand what is sum refers to? Sum of money will amount. Amount is the total amount. Sum is the principal amount. That means we are expected to calculate only the principal amount here to 19,200 rupees at 15% per annum for a period of 4 years. See, for the first year 15%, for the second year 15%, for the third year 15%, for the fourth year 15%, that means 15 plus 15 plus 15 plus 15, 4, 15 say 60. So, 60% interest is already added. 100% is a value. 100% is the principal amount. And the rate of interest is 15%. And the simple interest is 60%. Because 15 into 4 is 60. That's why I kept here is 60%, not 15%. Please understand why I have written here the 60% reason is 15% per annum and for the 4 years. 15, 4 times, it's 60%. So I have written this. 
So if I add both, the, I'll get total amount. As I know that, the principal amount plus simple interest is the total amount. And if it is, 100 plus 60 is 160. But according to the logic, according to the question, I know that it's 19,200 rupees. And what we require to calculate, is it the simple interest? No. Is it the amount? That is already known. Is it the principal amount? Yes, we require to the principal amount. So, that 100% is the, we require to calculate the 100% value. Now, cross multiply these two and divide by 160, you will get your answer. It's very simple. It's very simple. It's 100 into 19200 divided by 160. So, 0 and 0 you will get once. And 16 how many times? 16, 12 times, 192. And 0 times and 12,000. The answer is 12,000. It's very easy for you to calculate. This is not the formula. This is the concept of simple interest. And we'll, let's go to the next question. Third question is, what amount does masters get if he invests 15,000? That means this 15,000 is the principal amount. And what amount does masters? That means its total amount. What amount does masters get? Get in the sense the result. In the beginning, that will be P, that is 100% value. And 18% per annum simple interest for the 5 years. That means for the first year, 18% for the second year, 18% for the third year, 18% for the first, fourth year, 18% and for the fifth year, 18%. That means it's just 18 times 5. Or 5 times 18, it's just 90%. So, the 90% value is the simple interest. And the 100% value is the principal amount and if I add the total amount is 190% at present we know that 100% is 15,000 rupees so it is very easy for you to calculate the 90% value 90% value and 190% value 90% value is very easy because it is just 10% less than 15,000 what is 10% less than 15,000 that is also very easy to calculate 10% means just remove 0, you will get 10%. 1500 less on 15,000. That means 90%. To calculate 90%, 100% minus 10%. I can calculate the 90% value. 15,000 minus 1500 is 13,500 rupees. It's very easy, very simple. If I add both, I will get my answer. Yes. So it's 28500. So... By this, we can calculate very easy. How much time I had took? I took a little time. And that too, I am, I am explaining here and you are understanding. For that, it takes time. But to calculate it, if you know the logic, if you are there to hit, and if you are attempting the question, it, not even these, this much time, in less time, you can answer the question. Okay? Right. Okay, welcome back. Simple interest is known to us and now at present we will discuss about the compound interest. What exactly a compound interest? Compound interest is the interest to be calculated not only on the principal amount but also the previous year's interest. Okay, this is the definition. We can consider the definition according to the definition, according to the concept of it, we can calculate the problems. The interest being calculated on P, that is principal amount. And also previous year's interest, that is what interest. So, as according to the concepts of the principal amount, simple interest and the compound interest, there is no direct formula to calculate the compound interest. But it will depend on the total amount. What exactly the total amount? Total amount is the rate of interest calculated the, on the principal amount. And if, if we add the interest, I will get the total amount as total amount equals to the principal amount plus compound interest so at present the for the first year it's the rate of interest is calculated or incremented only once for the second year for the two years it repeated twice for the third year it repeated thrice for the fourth year it repeated four times for the n number of years the interest is nothing but incremented value 
according to the percentages, it's just the incremented value. According to the compound interest, it's just the compound interest. So 1 plus R by 100 whole power M is the total amount. This is how we can calculate the total amount. But we are here to calculate the compound interest. Compound interest here is compound interest equals to the total amount minus principal. So as we know already, the principal amount into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N is the total amount. That total amount is replicated and duplicated here and substituted and P common. That means this is the final formula to calculate the compound interest P times 1 plus R by 100 whole power N minus 1. How it came? Because P and P are here, we just made P as a common. So this is the formula according to the simple interest and compound interest. But uh, according to us and Masters Academy, we will follow our own rules. We, we don't follow the formula, but we follow the concept of it. Okay, let's see how the concepts will work. Now, we'll take one question. What is the compound interest can be earned on 7,500 at 20% per annum at a rate of, at the end of two years? At two years, after two years, how much compound interest we can earn if the principal amount is 7,500? This is what the question. So, if you want to follow the formula, this is the formula type. This is formula. Here, the compound interest equals to P into 1 plus R by 100 whole power N minus 1. This is what a formula as we discussed earlier. And here, N value is 2 years. As a reason, 2 years. N equals to 2. Rate of interest is 20. As a reason, R equals to 20. And P value here is 7,000. 500. This is rate of interest. This is time period. And we just substitute the values. 7500 into 1 plus 20 by 100. 20. How many times? 21 times. 25 times. Minus 1. 1 plus 1 by 5 here become 5 times 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 by 5 whole square. 6 by 5 whole square is nothing but 6 square is 36. 5 square is 25. Minus 1. So again, 36 by 25 minus 1 is, 36 minus 25 is 11, 11 by 25, 11 by 25, 25, 3 times 75 and double zero continues, 3 times 11 is 33, 33 double zero. This is how we can calculate the compound interest according to the traditional method, the formula. But according to the graphical method, this is the principal amount, this is the principal amount, here it's 20%, 20%. For the first year, it's a 20%. For the second year also, it's only 20%. According to the definition, the interest being calculated on P, that is principal amount. That is what we are doing here. 20% and 20%. 20% 20 of 7,500 is very simple. 10% is 750. As we know that, 10% is just remove one zero, the last zero, you can get 10% value. And here we are required to calculate 20% value, just a double of it. Double that 750 is 1500. So 1500 here for the second year also 1500. Please do remember this also we need to calculate the previous year's interest. The previous year's interest is nothing but 1500. For that also 20% we need to calculate. What is 10% of 1500? Remove one zero you will get 10%. 10% 10 is 150. Twice is nothing but a 20%. 20% 20 of 1500 is 300. That's what here. This is the previous interest. Interest. So 1500 plus 300 is 1800. This is not a cover. This is actually the second year. Only the second year's compound interest. But here we are required to calculate at the end of two years. So we need to add the first year interest as well as second year interest. Both should be added at present. This is the final compound interest. Compound interest is 3300. This is a graphical representation. And even more, even more faster we can calculate by using the code for the two years compound interest just need to implement 2, 1 as a code. What is this 2, 1? For the first two, you require to use how much percent? It's a 20%. Rate of interest is 20%. Use rate of interest 20% of the principal amount plus plus this 20% again 20% of it 20% of the previous 20% okay what exactly a 20% value already know that 
7500 in 7500 what is the 20% value it's a 1500 2 times a 1500 plus 1 time what is the 20% value of this 1500 this is 300 so 1500 2 times it's 3000 and 300 so answer is 3300 so with the concept of it for the 2 years compound interest we can calculate very faster Okay, right. Even for the three years and four years, there are few codes, and we we will definitely we will implement, and we will meet with the future questions.